Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for today's meditation Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25 Hebrews 7 25 Therefore he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him since he always lives to make intercession for them I read it again Therefore he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him since he always lives to make intercession for them. He always, God always, always God. Everything in this world will change and everything is subject to change. Yes, nothing is permanent in this world. You name it, whatever, everything changes in this world. Why? Even we change. Many a times we expect from people that they should never change and they should be the same but still there is changes in our life too according to the responsibilities, according to the problems that we face and according to the path that we walk through, according to the situations, changes keeps happening in our life. There is only one thing that doesn't change. Our God, He never ever changes and that's why He said, I am the I am. Today my friend, he is an unchanging Jesus. How many of you believe it? Shall we all sing this old, very old song? Put your hands together, join with me and worship and praise Him. He is the same unchanging Jesus, unchanging Jesus, unchanging Jesus. He is the same unchanging Jesus, Jesus through eternity one more time he is the same unchanging jesus unchanging jesus unchanging jesus he is the same unchanging jesus jesus through eternity come on hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, one more time. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He's an unchanging God. What all doesn't change? Oh, what God does always for us. What God gives us always few verses I would like to show you. Number one, Psalm chapter 40, verse 11. Psalm 40, 11, it says, He always protects us. Yes, God always protects us. He always keeps us in the safe place. He protects us by His grace and truth. My friend, today there is a protection of God upon your life. When I say protection of God, I don't talk about the strike that comes from the enemy. I don't talk about the accidents that's happened in the world. I don't talk about what, what physically you go through. I also talk about the wrong decisions that we sometimes make in our life. God will protect us from all those wrong decisions. Today, He will do it in your life. I feel in my spirit very strongly and that's why I'm talking about this. Let me tell you, wrong decisions... God will stop it in your life and He will protect you. He will keep you on a safer side. Number two, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. It says, He always gives peace. Always gives peace. When I call peace, I don't talk about the peace that comes after a problem is solved. After your need is met. Not that peace. I'm talking about a peace in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the waves, in the midst of the wind. God will give you peace. Number three, Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 12. Deuteronomy 11 verse 12. He will always keep his eyes on you. Not just watching over you, but he will keep his eye on you. He will keep his eye on you, which means he dedicates his eye on you. He never moves his eyes. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He keeps his eye on you. He watches over you. He is guiding you. Yes, always he does this for us. And number four, second Corinthians chapter two, verse 14. It says that he always gives us victory. Always victory. 
everywhere victory. I'm not talking about the victory that comes after the war, after the battle. I'm talking about the victory even before the battle with faith. Yes, that victory God will give you. Today, always God. Let God always protect you. Let all God always give you peace. Let God always keep his eye on you. Let God always give you victory. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this word. Thank you, Lord, for this word and help us to believe in this word. Get strengthened in this word. You are there always for us. You are the unchanging God. Let us not put our trust in anything, Lord, but let us help us trust in you alone and hold on to you alone. Let your name be glorified. Thank you. Give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day.